DR has been a game changer for me as far as working out is concerned. It took exercising from this grueling necessary evil to a fun endeavor that is arguably even more intense than the traditional workouts I was doing previously. It's kind of wild because although I started out with Thriller the Fight, the best boxing game in the VR arena, and one I haven't touched in quite a while, my little workout program is comprised of titles that aren't exactly fitness games. I'm talking Pistol Whip, Ninja Legends, Audio Shield, and of course, the number one VR sensation, Beat Saber. These games have helped me unlock what I truly believe is the best shape of my life at 45 years old. Enter Fit XR. Now I've known about Fit XR for quite a while and its subscription based payment model. Most of the bad reviews I've seen on this game center on this subscription aspect. I guess maybe the game was free at one point and then people got butt hurt once they realized they had to pay for it. It was never really a big deal for me because if the advertising checked out and this game is what they say it is, it would be comparable to a gym membership. For me, what held me back was like a combination of being broke and not having a lot of space to work with on my Quest Deuce. But luckily for me, my little sister V, Las Vegas makeup girl, convinced me to give it a try by not only selling this shit hard, but offering to pay my subscription. How very nice of her, right? So after doing some tinkering around, tinkering around, I was able to clear some space and finally take that fateful plunge. And I must say, I am damn impressed. Fit XR is structured pretty much like a fitness center that allows you to take a wide variety of classes right from your VR headset. These classes are grouped in categories such as boxing, combat, and dance, among others, distinguished by difficulty levels that range from beginner to expert. Each class is led by a real-life instructor who provides the cues that guide you through the workout. I'm not really about that dance life or any exercise that specifically target the legs because I feel I already get enough of that and damn near everything I do already. So for now, I think I'll be just fine sticking with the boxing and combat classes. Luckily, there's plenty to choose from. On that note, you can select from a handful of virtual environments to serve as your background for the workout setting, as well as the genre of music you hear while exercising. Keep in mind, however, that the music is preset to specific classics, classes. That means you can't necessarily pick a class in the genre of music you want to hear on demand. I initially feared that this might be a deal breaker for me because music that sucks is kind of painful on my ears and the freedom of choice and customization is why I love Beat Saber so much because you can beat the saber to whatever you want to hear whenever you want to hear it. Turns out FitXR is so engaging and so intense that the music is pretty much a non-factor. In the boxing classes, you're throwing a mix of jabs, hooks, and uppercuts, as well as ducking out of the way of obstacles to keep you on your toes. The combat classes are similar, but mix it up with the style of strikes and blocks. The hit detection in combat seems a tad fluky at first, because if your stance isn't on point, you might miss some of the elbow strikes and high blocks. 
it can be frustrating, but it's not too much of a nuisance. Like I said, you just got to figure out how to get your proper stance and, and learn where to exactly strike the little fucking cues that's coming in at you so fast, you know. It's not a big deal. It's the point here. But what I really like about Fit XR is the competitive aspect of the game. There may be anywhere from one to six other people in your class at a given time. I thought this was all happening in real time at first, but my sister has led me to believe otherwise. I mean, what are the chances that you and these other jabronis from all over the world decided to take the same class at the same damn time? It's pretty slim. Either way, it's a cool little component that gives you something to strive for as you try to rule the leaderboard, which I did on my first damn day. Crushed it. On the difficulty tip, FitXR does a near-perfect job of scaling the intensity between levels. For instance, while intermediate is noticeably more intense than beginner, it's not so difficult that you can't just do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, this shit's so hard, I can't do it. No, oh, I can't make it. Likewise, even the beginner classes will have you dripping puddles of sweat by the time all is said and all is done. Lastly, I really appreciate the cooldown that you can tap into following each class. I admittedly have not been stretching enough over these last few years. I know it's a crucial element of working out, but it's just so fucking boring that I do it for like 10 seconds after my workout or I just skip it all together. Well, since this game has it right there in the menu, I feel like I no longer have that as an excuse. The instructor-led cooldown sessions are straightforward and very rewarding after all the insanity you just endured. Not sure if it's the commitment to stretching or the little 10-minute treadmill sessions I've been doing prior to working out lately, but I have been feeling a lot more flexible despite how much harder I've been working. From a wide range of classes to detailed statistics that allow you to chart your journey, FitXR is looking like the most complete fitness solution on the VR market. It has now joined Beat Saber and Pistol Whip as games that I will probably play until the end of time. While it's a tad more grueling and thus not necessarily as fun as those games, it beats going to a stank-ass gym with humans any day, and more importantly, it gets the job done. So I highly recommend it. Peace.